welcome you to another episode of Black Soul Fresh with me, your host, Mako Collins. And don't forget that we are supported by Alan and Bruno Old Fashioned Wear Store, covered images the nice, and of course, the Road Trip King. So, let's kick off the show by just rating it first. So, we are beginning with this card. Oh, you thought you was a makeup, and the face is all gold, and the neck is all black. <laughs> I have always told you, remember makeup artist to agent and to pass the you know, because you cannot make your face to be gold and your neck is black. So it's a definite zero out of ten. But anyways, here you mean we cannot let the fact that here you mean. So we are having uh, Lydia Jasmine. The top is okay, the she is okay, uh, the skirt is okay. So I have nothing to say about her rating. So it's a definite ten out of ten. And you have fake for make a week. <laughs> what should I call it? We can wear anyways. We can wear, I don't know what it is, but I am just sure of one thing. He's so, so smart. I like this, yes. I can definitely go out with a guy planning on this together because it is a definite outfit. The shirt is okay, the colors are just on point. 10 out of 10. And of course, we have Pierre Pounds in the building. This was the uh, good race. Someone was telling him to get up on boozing. I said, but Yeah, it's all about fashion. So let's wear fresh to our trade because the boost is to come, but we are looking for fashion. So, a uh, Pierre Pounds is having this blue. Oh, God. She's just on point for one uh, reason. Timue. So this blue is just perfect on her. I think to me personally, she was my best dressed out of uh, God race. She was so smart. The blue is on point. It's a definite 10 out of 10. The glasses on point. The hat. Oh God, the hair is just okay. We know how uh, she like a shunga. <laughs> With pink. Okay. I don't understand this outfit at all. Okay, the, the, okay, she's having almost the same outfit like me today. But anyways, so she's having a pig and these things on her hands eh? what did she mean? because I'm going to take it my yango eh? like my, my, my friend used to say it my yango my yango okay the shoes on point the makeup the hat anyways I'll give her 5 out of 10 that's all so we are having a uh, did hat did it hat um, I like her for one reason did it hat uh, I like the hat because at the god race we were supposed to give the person who had the most exaggerated hat so did it had one yeah you mean yeah I would but the dress is so ordinary. Oh. I know you didn't have you can tell you that. So this costs about one hundred dollars and um oh, whatever but just yes, know the hat was on point. The makeup on good but anyways you see that day. So you have Zahara Tata, she looks like uh, Nicki Minaj in this outfit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need not when she's going on the stage when she's having this stupid hair and a stupid uh, throw on. But anyway, Zahara Toto, it's the credit. I like the glasses. One Yumiye, 10 out of 10. You're so smart. The jumps is on point. So, young Achieve was also happy. Yes, uh, we it was a lot of fun. Let me bring you the fashion sense that happened there. Anyway, Kenzo was putting on this. Wow. This suit is just on point. But I'm on a Kenzo, I don't know how to let me take you out. And although the mouth may be this ends, you can go with him, trust. You can go out with him, trust me. But anyway, Eddie Kenzo, definite 10 out of 10. Baby boy, you pulled out this outfit. Personally, he was my best dressed that evening. Mumasad, yeah, anyways. Yeah, so we have Malay Kanyanzi. You have the fashion sense, my dear. Um, you have been Ugamba. This is our right outfit. But not only. Yeah. You know, when I hear of a red carpet event and Malay Kanyan is supposed to happen to be there. It's supposed to be there. As in, it's not supposed to be transistor. But it's too ordinary for you. It is nice. Yes, the colors are on point. Maybe it was a good day. I like the ice pins. But uh, it is okay, but not on you, anyways. It would, it would fit somebody else. I know you would pull something out in Shimanga TV, so, so perfect, so definite. So you have Tina Taisi. <sighs> Trust me, on this evening, she was my best. She was perfect to on point to goodness. I don't know how to say this, but God, you rocked this out. You know, I know people are complaining about the cleavage, but here you were naked, but Hannibal Pie. Trust me, I like the outfit. The black. Someone should always have a black outfit, by the way. A black gown in your wardrobe. If you don't have it, I don't know what you have. But trust me, if you are a lady and you don't have a gown that is black in your wardrobe, mm -mm. baby girl, baby boy, you better go change your girl's wardrobe. And the girl, you better go change your wardrobe. You have to have a gown that is black. Okay. Tina Tracy, 10 out of 10. 
So I looked at my bed and I was like, I'm going to be there. And she was very smart because this is a color that is programmed by a good jail. This is a color. I'm going to come and look and pray. Trust me. That's how I'm going to go. So check it. Yeah, when you meet the girl, so I will give her a definite change out of routine. The shoe was on point. The makeup was on point. And then what they had started to do is to put it on mask. So check it. Yes, this is what they came out with. So the makeup, okay, 10 out of 10. So this is all we had for you this evening. So have a blessed night, my beautiful people. Make sure that when you watch, you always subscribe. It is the most important thing because when you put something there, definitely you'll be getting it. Thank you, my cameraman. That is Emma and Najib. Two handsome guys. I was going to say beautiful. But anyways, thank you, Alan Bruno. God bless. Bye.